Welcome to Chasing Aesthetics, where fitness meets science. Now, uh, let's go with the million dollar question. Uh, how much volume to do? How much volume to do? So, this is going to bring us around to kind of the volume lay marks concept. So, essentially, we want to do enough volume so we grow and progress, but not too much volume to where we can't recover from it. And maybe we start seeing a regression in our ability to perform in the gym and to really overload our muscles. So we kind of want to, you know, start out at a range where it's like, okay, this is, this is effective for us. This is where we can start growing some muscle at a pretty solid rate. And then we kind of want to work up to a range to where it's like, okay, this might be about as much as we can recover from. And by working between these two points, we can ensure that we're making progress the entire time because by definition, between those two points is effective volume for us. Now the question is, how do we find these two points, right? So to find that lower end, that minimum effective volume that tends to be better for you, this can be very different depending on the individual. Like I've coach clients that like their, their hamstring minimum effective volume is like three sets. And then I've also coached clients to where it's like, man, I don't feel anything until I start doing nine or 10 sets. So it's going to depend on the individual. It's going to depend on the muscle group. It's probably can depend on what's going on in your life, all that sort of thing. But by looking at a few things, you can start to figure out where that minimum effective volume is. So these three things. Number one is soreness. So how, how sore or how fatigued is this muscle getting like the day after you train it? Are you feeling any sort of soreness whatsoever? Number two, how good of a pump are you getting in that muscle group? Are you getting at least somewhat of a pump, none of a pump, or like a raging pump? Number three, Lost my train of thought. So we have the, the pump, how sore you get, and then how subjectively difficult the, the session felt. So how difficult did it feel? Did it feel really hard? Did it feel really easy? How did it feel? So then, like, like the last set RP, right? Yeah. So for that training session, did it feel like it was a tough workout for your biceps? Did it feel like it was a tough workout for your back? And then kind of what we're shooting for is kind of in the middle for all these things. So for soreness, we're kind of shooting for maybe a little bit of soreness in the muscle groups that tend to get sore. So this isn't every muscle group. And then for, for muscle groups that don't tend to get sore, I just look for a little bit of fatigue. Like if you're doing the dishes and you feel your, your side delts are a little bit fatigued while you're doing the dishes, then it's like, okay, there's some fatigue there. We probably overloaded them in my training session. That's probably about right. So we're kind of looking for a little bit of soreness and a little bit of fatigue, somewhere in that range. And then we're also looking for a solid pump. Like, did we get at least somewhat of a pump in the muscle group we trained? And then we're also looking at, okay, did it feel somewhat difficult? Did it feel at least like we got, got in there and got a workout in? So it's not feeling like extremely, extremely hard but it's also not feeling like super easy. If we're kind of in that range across those three different measures, then we're probably right around that range of, okay, this was probably about enough, enough volume to at least overload our muscle and to be effective for us. Does that, does that kind of make sense there? Yeah, it does. I mean, uh, we all know that it's not uh, easy to find our MRV, MEV, and finally where our MAV, which will be uh, the real deal. But um, yeah, I think that's the best thing that you can do because we know, and also, of course, you know that there's a there's like a like a guideline in reviverstronger.com that says uh, the each each and every every landmark for each muscle that uh, we know that that's like a general rule uh, we are not all created equal so uh, that's why and i think that's uh, those are three good points to take in consideration and you 
the most important thing there is experience. You need to experience if it fits well for you. And if it does, then you need to manage it. And that's the question now. Uh, how do we... Uh, Don't forget to rate the podcast on iTunes and leave a review. May the aesthetics be with you.